Dan Willis here, and we're talking about Focus Receivables Management. This is a third-party collection agency located in Marietta, Georgia. They'll service and collect upon a variety of types of consumer debts, including Time Warner cable bills, Comcast, charged-off debts, and many more. So the first and most relevant point here is the collection tactics beyond the harassing phone calls, beyond the threatening letters. They're also going to report negative information about you on your credit report. This is going to be a collection item, and that is going to damage your credit score. According to Anthony Sprov of FICO, the company that actually calculates most consumers' credit scores, a collection on your credit report can damage your score by up to 100 points. And there is a legal time window, which we'll discuss here coming up, but there's a legal time window. And the point with all this is that collection item, whether it's paid or unpaid, is going to damage and hurt your credit score. Moreover, if this collection agency, Focus Receivables Management, is unable to collect payment from you, then they have two options. They're either one, going to go and sell your account to yet another collection agency. The new collection agency is going to start calling you, sending you threatening letters and harassing you and reporting more bad credit on your credit report. <laughs> Alternatively, and this is the first frequent result with most unpaid collections, they can file a civil lawsuit against you in a court of laws, and they're going to sue you for repayment. That can lead to your wages being garnished, not to mention your credit score being absolutely annihilated. This third and final tip is the most effective effective consumer weapon to fight back and enforce your rights. And what you're going to do is you're going to request account validation. This needs to be done in writing and using certified mail. Knock on wood, the Federal Trade Commission, the FTC, fines collection agencies every single year. Big money for ignoring consumer validation requests. And what you're doing with this is you're really just saying, hey, prove this is my debt, and then we can talk about uh, the potential of repayment. But first, prove it to me. If they do not validate your debt, which is going to require them to send you documents and evidence that proves it's your account, then you're no longer legally responsible for payment. Moreover, that collection item on your credit report, they're supposed to notify the credit bureaus to have them remove that item, which is critical to getting a good credit score. If you, this is Dan Willis. Please subscribe and join our congregation. You can also visit a link in the description below over to an article at our website for full details. We also have a free report available there, the seven proven ways to boost your credit score. Have a wonderful day and looking forward to talking to you again here soon.